leading virus safety measures and PPE distribution to schools. The NFL is taking steps in its promise to combat racism and fight social injustice. Now, the league will feature two slogans in the end zones, one that says it takes all of us and the other one that says end racism. Now, Francesca Amager joins us live in Fulton County. I know there's a lot of reaction to this on social media and with the way Roger Goodell has been late to the party, I'm surprised one of his signs isn't, hey, we landed on the moon. Better late than never, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's about time this point, right? The NFL turning their back on Colin Kaepernick just a few years ago. And finally, after the WNBA and the NBA come about with Black Lives Matter on the court, the NFL finally taking a stand and getting behind the black injustice movement for Black Lives Matter. And the two slogans, according to Roger Goodell, that were announced on that conference call on Tuesday are end racism, and as you mentioned, it takes all of us. Now, according to the Associated Press, the NFL will also allow statements on players' helmets and as patches on team caps. Players can also choose either the name of a victim or one of four pre-approved phrases from the league to display on their helmets or caps. Stop hate, it takes all of us, end racism, or Black Lives Matter. Now, coaches and on-field officials may wear the same. And here's what some of you are saying about this decision online. Dory Tony says, or the NFL could just hire more black head coaches. And Deb Fry Asbury says, why does this offend y'all so much? There is only one type of person who would not agree with this message, end racism. And finally, Paula Flood says, doesn't matter what they put in the end zone, I am boycotting the NFL. Well, I will be watching, so I'll be your plus one. I'll be in your place. All right, so uh, just know additionally, a t-shirt design will also be allowed to be worn during warm-ups by the players. And that design actually says, injustice against one of us is injustice against all of us. That's on the front. And then on the back, it says, end racism as well. I want to bring in Crash Clark on this one to get your opinion. And Crash, I mean, as one of our viewers said, if the words in racism on the field offends you and this just once you makes you boycott the NFL so much, then you need to look inside you because there's a reason why you hate the words in racism. It should be symbolic with the word America, right? End racism. We don't want racism in America. And one more point crash uh, for one of our viewers who said hire more black coaches. I think it's duly to be noted that of the 32 teams in the NFL, only three of the coaches are black. Yeah, absolutely need to get more diversity in the league itself. And I think this is a slow move towards that. Uh, why folks have any kind of a problem with any message right now, especially with the Black Lives Matter movement at the forefront of everyone's conversation. Look at what the NBA and the WNBA has been doing. You mentioned this earlier, some very emotional, uh, not just on the backs of the shirts, but some of the players actually drawing pictures on their sneakers, Breonna Taylor, George Floyd. And it's a very emotional reaction from these players. Look, if that bothers you, the end racism in an end zone and you're going to boycott the NFL, fine. I'm not going to boycott the NFL. I mean, I love my football, college and pro. Say what you want. The